Never spend more than you can afford to lose is something you'll hear a lot. I can't afford to lose at all. So the L's got me falling off, falling out, calling the prof, like, please reconsider your position on my thoughts. I stapled a $10 bill to the paper and everything, and you're still not gonna let me off easy this time. You still can't talk to me about lost causes when I'm one short straw away from sobbing to get out of the dare. I cannot be caught with as much uranium, or they'll try to lock me up. I'm trying to get high, but they'll say I was crafting an armada. That's what happened last time anyway. I'm being way more careful now though. I've got a few barrels in the shed, and on the shed there's a lock. I'm the only one with the key, and I keep it in my pocket. In my pocket there's a zipper, and the zipper's not too obvious from the cop's perspective, so I'm feeling like the plan's rock solid, plus I'm into all kinds of martial arts. I saw this YouTube video on pressure points last night, so I'll just turn you off if you get close. The cost of the arena was way more than I wanted to pay, but I told this thug who sold it to me that I'd get back to him with the second half of the payment after this job I've got lined up. He told me to watch myself, and this is a seriously hot product. Am I sure I want to take on the responsibility? Well, I sleep with one eye open, so it's not like I'm not already there to rock the rocks to sleep when they start crying to me in the middle of the night. Sometimes I go to the shed and I just watch. At first I don't really see much, but after a little while the lights turn on, and I find myself in an office building, at a desk. My boss is asking me if I had time to address what's going on with the latest account I'm working on. I stand up and walk past my boss at the elevator. The door opens and there's a shaman and a monk. I click the button for the garage. The rock music gets louder as we fall from the top floor. The shaman says, this one looks a little bit lost. And the monk says, could not agree more. And they start making out. When we get to the garage, I follow the elevator. There's not even one car in the garage. Just my boss holding some papers saying, we really need to get back to the office if possible. An inaudible chant starts saying, lost, 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 over and over again. I rush past my boss to my usual parking spot. Spray paint on the ground are the words, you're lost. I make my way to the exit sign, but the door is locked. The chant gets louder until it's all I can hear. I close my eyes and hold my hands over my ears to try to make it stop. Pushing my entire body against the door, it suddenly unlocks. When I open my eyes, I find myself chewing something at a restaurant. One of my friends at the table asks, well, are you going to tell us what you saw? And I say, what? Another one says, you were going through the story about the time you lost your virginity at the laundromat. And I say, yeah, sorry, I guess I lost track. Anyway, we were in the middle of nowhere and it was really muddy. And there was this huge dog chasing after us, but eventually we found a safe spot at the laundromat. I think the whole experience really bonded us or something because she like started talking crazy like about her mom and personal drama and everything and I was like, well, I hope that all gets better. Then we fucked while our clothes washed.